We spend our lives taking each second for granted, but what would you do if you knew how much time you had left? Welcome to My Smart Side. When experiencing a loss, for example, maybe we'll say of a crazy, funny YouTube channel that reached the end of its year-long lifespan, some people go through the stages of grief. They may or may not go through them in order, and they may or may not experience all of them. Some people don't go through the stages of grief, and some people research them, make an educational YouTube video about them, and act them out. Help. There are different models of the stages of grief. Um, let's change the background music. This one is too happy. There we go. This one is perfect, and perfectly titled. The most common model has five stages. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. This is also called the Kubler-Ross model, named after the psychiatrist Elizabeth Kubler-Ross and described in her book On Death and Dying. Colin Murray Parks' model has four stages based on John Bowlby's theory of attachment. Shock and numbness, yearning and searching, despair and disorganization, and reorganization and recovery. There is also a seven-stage model. Shock and denial, pain and guilt, anger and bargaining, depression, upward turn, reconstruction and working through, and acceptance and hope. I will be describing Kubler-Ross's five-stage model. Denial. Nobody wants to hear bad news, especially life-changing news. Nobody wants to know that they will never be with the thing or person they love again on Earth. No, uh, Unusandus will not be deleted. Ethan and Mark were fooling us and Nunasana is going to be re-uploaded, right? At first, they don't want to believe it. At first, they don't want to believe it and will outright deny it. It's just taking a hiatus and will be put back soon. The clock is ticking, but that's just for the start of the temporary deletion. Reavers going through the denial stage tend to feel numb. They do what they can to continue everyday life and don't want to talk about the bad news. Don't worry, Unisonis is fine. We'll be able to enjoy another video with shenanigans with Ethan and Mark, with Chica and Henry, and Spencer. With Amy, with Mommy Plyer, and with special guests. No, I'm sorry. That will not happen. Anger. We can't keep denying the bad news forever. We can't keep saying we will see them again and then actually not ever see them again. When we realize this, we naturally start to feel angry. Now, listen here, life, you son of a rocket. We may think that it is unfair that this shouldn't happen. We may already know that it is going to happen, but we don't like its irreversible inevitability. It was a very good channel. Sure, Ethan and Mark did some, I dare say, stupid things. But they also did very nice things that I enjoyed watching. We may get mad at other people, even if they tried their best to prevent it as much as possible. The re-uploaders on YouTube are supposed to know how to disguise it. Maybe if not disguise it, they should have known how to put it on another platform. Anger does not have to be, as Hellfine says it, clear-cut fury or rage. It can mask itself in feelings like bitterness or resentment. 
Why can't they have done the thing that didn't make them feel embarrassed? Would they have adapted to their ideas, but at least the videos could be unlisted? Bargaining. You start to come up with ways to try to get out of the situation. Hold on. I just switch from plural third person to plural first person to singular second person. Anyway, you think about what you could have done differently. I could have created a playlist and set up a screen recorder to use while I'm away from my computer. I could have privately watched them and deleted them afterward. I could have used Filmora's screen recorder instead of Screencast-O-Matic, which allows more than 15 minutes and to capture the computer audio. Maybe you tried to make a deal with God. Yes, that is a funny story. Windows Movie Maker is very limited. It does not have picture-in-picture. -picture. I downloaded the free edition of Filmora to create a Markiplier video parody, and Markiplier was a co-host of Who to Saw This. With the free edition, there is the big banner of a watermark, Markiplier. <laughs> Excuse me, can you try to make a deal with God? Oh, um... Well, I understand that God knows that some of Unisonis actually is dirty and sinful. I think that it must be deleted to coincide with God's principles. But I can try to bargain. Hey, God, if you put back the good, clean videos of Unisonis, I will. I guess I will discontinue my YouTube channel? No. Convert them to Christian channels? No, well, no, they are already run by a Christian. I have tried to bargain, but I can't do it. Oh, I've got it. Ein Monat, a parody of Unus on this won't happen. Shush! You are not supposed to mention that. Depression. Which person should I choose? I'll choose the singular first person. So, I realize that none of the bargainings will work. The past is in the past, and God has his plan in motion. Unisonis is gone. I can't get it back or spend more time watching it. Some symptoms of depression include lack of sleep. Mysterious excitement anymore. Loss of appetite. It can't cook that sour meal anymore. Ethan and Mark puckered at the acid. Of course, why wouldn't they? The acids are pure sour extract. They love the roast beast, especially Mark, I think. Unisonis can't use blindfolds or dot to um tools that adults use for cooking to feed their dogs anymore. Extreme sadness crying, unable to concentrate on... What am I talking about? You know what? 2020 is a sucky year anyway. I'm gonna say it. Coronavirus. I was supposed to have a nice spring break. Two of those days are supposed to be for my college intro courses. On the second of those two days, I was supposed to go to the Sight and Sound Theater again, which I highly recommend, to watch Esther. 
a show of theirs I haven't seen yet. The Sight and Sound theaters have amazing shows with epic music, spectacular effects, and live animals inside a big theater with a 180 degree stage, which is inside a big, beautiful building. All canceled because of the coronavirus. Acceptance. He grieved. Now, he is ready to face the new normal. Mm. Unis Honest is gone, but it's bound to happen because Ethan and Mark said so. Don't worry about him. His Asperger's can make this stage easy. Yes, in fact, I haven't really experienced the other stages significantly at all. Of course, this acceptance does not mean that I wanted it to happen, just that I am prepared for it. He may realize that maybe this loss is better for the deleted channel. Unus Honest is not threatening anymore. Ethan and Mark are enjoying the relief and comfort of not having to upload daily content. Psycom says that he may get sad again while thinking about the deleted channel, but the good days tend to outnumber the bad days. If you learned something new, click the like button. If you want to learn more things, click the subscribe button. You will learn more from me next time. Memento Mori. At first, they don't want to believe it. At first, they don't want to believe it. I just want to make sure nothing in the background flashes. Okay. All good. Okay. Uh, can't keep denying the bad news forever. You can't keep saying that we're feeling women and then actually not. When we realize this, we naturally start to feel angry. Okay. Um, let's change the background music. This one is too happy. At first, they don't want to benign. At first, they don't want to believe it and will outright deny it. Reaver is going through the denial stage. That will not happen. Anger. We can't keep denying the bad news forever. We may already know that it is going to happen. We may get mad at other people, even if they tried their best to prevent it as much as possible. Anger does not have to be, as Helfine says it, bitterness or resentment. Bargaining. You start to come up with ways to try to get out of the situation. Hold on. I just switched from plural third person to plural first person to singular second person. You think about what you could have done differently. Maybe you try to make a deal with God. Excuse me. Can you try to make a deal with God? Shush! You are not supposed to mention that. Depression. Which person should I choose? I'll choose the singular first person. Some symptoms of depression include extreme sadness. What am I talking about? Acceptance. He grieved. Now he is ready to face the new normal. His Asperger's can make this stage easy. He may realize that maybe this loss is better for the deleted channel. Psycom says that he may get sad again while thinking about the deleted channel, but the good days tend to outnumber the bad days. 
If you learned something new, click the like button. If you want to learn more things, click the subscribe button. You will learn more from me next time. Memento Mori.